Hi everybody, I got another package. I already opened this one, but I'm going to share the contents with you. This is from Pumpkin Patch 1993. That is Letizia, and she is a pumpkin grower extraordinaire. And this is the fourth package in the seed exchange we're doing with Paula from Just Living. Um, uh, oh, there it is. Okay, she sent me a note and I dropped it and I wanted to read it to you because it's really sweet. And I am binge watching her channel because she is teaching me how to grow pumpkins because she's really great at it. So I'm learning a lot from Lucia. So the note says, Hope, thank you so much for your wonderful package. It made my day. Thanks for supporting my channel. Here's some seeds for you to plant this summer. Pumpkin Patch 1993 Letizia. And, you know, I'm hoping I'm going to see the hall look so grazie Letizia. She is Italian. So I am saying it correct. It is Letizia, not Letitia. I found out. I said it wrong the first time. So let's see what she sent me because she sent me a lot of good stuff. Ooh, look at that. Small fancy gourd mix. And those are for decorating around the house in the fall. And I have bought these at the store, and they're expensive. So to grow my own will be fun. And I think Camera Girl might help me grow these, too, because we like to do decorating types of things at Halloween, um, at church, at home, different places. So that should be fun. Maybe she can even take one to her dorm room and put on her bedside table. We'll see. Anyway, the next one she sent me is an heirloom pumpkin called Cinderella. And you see how that looks just like that pumpkin that got bibbidi bobbidi boo. Um, if that's not trademarked, if it is, I'm sorry. Bibbidi bobbidi boo. Whatever it is from the movie into the carriage. And look at that gorgeous color. So I hope I get at least one, preferably two or three of these, because that'll be beautiful decorations um, for my table. You can set them right here. Boom, boom, boom. Three of them right down in the middle. Then I got a Connecticut Field Pumpkin, and this is a good sized pumpkin. This one I've grown before and gotten about two to three pound pumpkins, but I'm watching her channel to see what she does to try and get bigger pumpkins because I seem to like big ones. And if you guys don't know, this seed exchange was initiated by Paula at Just Living is the name of her channel, and she is doing a pumpkin challenge. Anybody can enter, it's not limited or restricted to the seed exchangers or even the people who go into her live every morning. And what we're trying to do is throw the biggest pumpkin we can and we're going to measure the girth of it. And um, I think we're going to have to grow from transplants because a lot of us are in places that are pretty cold. We can't grow it from seed and get a harvest. So we're going to transplant on the same day and try to get the biggest pumpkin. We don't win anything fancy, just bragging rights, but I want to be the winner. <laughs> So next I have spaghetti squash, and this is a the one that you use for um, vegetable noodles in place of spaghetti, uh, so that it is, as it says, delicious low-cal treat. You literally um, bake this in the oven, like oil it up, bake it in the oven, then you take it out, cut it in half, um, and take all the seeds out, take a fork and rice it, if you, for lack of a better word, you pull all the pulp out and that's your noodles and you put your spaghetti sauce um whether it's vegetarian or whatever on it and it is delicious i've done that lots of times but i've always bought my squash so it's nice to have seeds for those because i understand it's really prolific so yay and this is a type of lettuce i've never had before this one is called paris white which i've never ever had so i don't know how it tastes but it looks pretty good and it's kind of upright, so it's going to be easy to harvest and keep kind of clean. So that'll be nice. Thank you. And lettuce, you know, seeds are small as dust, so we'll get lots. And I have a trick for sowing very small seeds from Homegrown Veggies channel. I'll put, the, I'll put the link to that video in the description box below so that you can go check it out. That's a really good video. This one is Waltham Butternut Squash, which is one of my favorites. It's prolific and it keeps very long and it says it keeps extra long. I um, got sick a few years ago and had to go to my local food pantry myself and be a, a recipient. And a lot of people at that time were not eating squash, so I would tell them, give it to me. So between September and March of the following year, I probably kept squash from September to March 
and um, we ate it probably once a month. And you can do the seeds for squash just like you would pumpkin seeds. You roast them and salt them and eat them. So that was fun. Ooh, this is going to be my winter pumpkin. This is Atlantic Giant Pumpkin. And I believe right now the world's largest pumpkin on record is 2,000 pounds, which is... I believe the size of a mid-sized car. So I don't think I have space for one that big, but I might have room enough to get one with a really big diameter so that I can win the bragging right? So wish me luck. Well, I guess you have to wish us all luck. You can't play favorites. Ooh, something else for camera girl. Look at that. She loves sunflowers, and I don't think we've ever had these before. This is called pastiche, or pastiche, but I love those colors. That's gorgeous. Almost like golden days. Oh, it's beautiful. I agree. Golden days, yes. And it's touches of red and rust and yellow. Oh, that's going to be beautiful. Plus, we got some other ones, so we'll <laughs> mix those in the mix, and that'll be beautiful. And why I got golden day. Yes. And then, look at that one. That one is called Lumina Pumpkin. Glowing white jack-o'-lanterns. Like so, a banner? Um, the skin is white, so when you put the candle in at night, you can see the pumpkin skin is white and it's still glowing. That's a pretty cool pumpkin. And I see this in the um, Halloween challenges on the food show channels all the time. And they look really cool when they're lit up, so I hope we get a few of these to carve. That'll be cool. Because Sarah is quite the artist. If we get some good ones, I'm going to make her carve them because she's very creative. Huh? <laughs> you didn't know I had that in mind for you, did I? Yeah. I said if I would get some, I'm going to make you... Uh, carve our jack-o'-lanterns because you're creative and you're an artist. And I think you'll do a better job than I would. So, buttercup squash. Um, this um, It says Burgess Strain. And Burgess was an old seed house. I don't know if they're still in business or not. But this particular squash, I got a bunch of these one year too. And I, have, I love them. I've never grown them. But they were delicious. The seeds are delicious. The flesh is delicious. Um, you can make squash pie out of them. You can bake them and eat the flesh. You can make squash and eggs. You can saute them with kale. Oh my gosh, there's so many things you can do. Okay, and, we're going to pause for a second because Camera Girl has a question. Yes. And they can be mashed at baby food. You just mix with sugar and mash them. Because in Japan, they do that too. Oh, that is true. You can make your own baby food. Um, my baby days are long past, but I do have a brand new great nephew who is about six months old right now so maybe if I get some of these I'll take some of these to his mom and she can make her own organically grown homegrown baby food and she, the nice thing about doing it yourself is you can add as much or as little sugar as you want so that's awesome then we have some Waltham broccoli which I'm so happy to see because I'm going to have a lot of broccoli for camera girl to eat one of the few vegetables she will eat, as I said before. And she said, this one is so big, the head of it, the crown, looks like a bouquet. And it does. It's beautiful. So I hope I get some that size. That'll be awesome. And we're going to have to uh, look up a recipe for broccoli and beef because that's her favorite. Then, the last one I have is carrot. And I'm always happy to get another variety of carrot. I don't have tender sweet, and I'm hoping... That is exactly what it is, tender and sweet. And it's 75 days, which for a carrot is pretty short. So I got to say, that's a lot of seeds, Letizia. Oh, my gosh. And you've really inspired me to get my cucurbit grow on. And cucurbits, guys, are pumpkin squash, things like that. So I want to say thank you, Letizia, for such a wonderful gift. I really do appreciate it. You know, I'm the Cedaholic, and I love them. And I want to say thank you to Paula at Just Living Channel because she's the one who initiated the seed exchange. And I have been having so much fun. It is such a joy and pleasure to get to know the other members of the seed exchange. And if you have not visited Just Living's channel, let me please invite you once again to join us in the morning at her coffee get-together. We um, do coffee and 
either breakfast or donuts or something, but we mostly do coffee, tea, and we get to know each other and we grow our relationships. So please come join us and get to know us and get to know all of these wonderful people who are in the seed exchange. Please like this video. Please hit the subscribe button, drop a comment down below, and ring the notification bell if you would like to be notified of my next video. Also, please know I always wish you ha a happy garden, but most importantly, I wish you a bountiful, blessed, productive garden, and hope to see you growing on in 2019. Until next time. And get your opinion. Bye, guys. Hit the button. Then you hit that.